Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Azure Active Directory. In the last video, we talked about Azure AD registered devices. We discussed how device registration works in Azure AD and I demonstrated you how to register a device with Azure Active Directory. In this particular video, we are going to talk about Azure AD joint devices. We will understand what is Azure AD joint device and then I will demonstrate to you how to join a device with Azure Active Directory. Azure AD joint devices are the devices those are owned by an organization. We can join these devices to Azure Active Directory so that an administrator can apply intune policies to control the configuration on these devices or we can apply conditional access policies on these particular devices. In case of Azure AD registered devices, users log into the machines with their personal accounts. But in case of Azure Active Directory joint devices, users log into these machines with their Azure AD credentials. If we talk about supported operating system for Azure AD joint devices, you can join Windows 10 or Windows 11 devices to Azure AD. But if you are running Home Edition, you cannot join that device with Azure Active Directory. You can also join Windows Server 2019 VMs. Those are running in Microsoft Azure. Now there are two ways to join a device to Azure Active Directory. You can join a device to Azure AD at the time of operating system installation or post operating system is installed. I will show you both ways. So let's move towards our lab and let me show you how to join a device with Azure Active Directory. For this particular demo, I'm going to join this Windows 10 machine with Azure Active Directory. The host name of this device is Azure AD Join Machine. And let's run dsregcmd slash status. And we can see this device is not joined to Azure Active Directory. So to join a device to Azure AD, you will go to settings. You will go to accounts and you will click access work or school. Here you will click connect. And on this particular screen, you will click join this device to Azure Active Directory. In the last video, when we registered device with Azure AD, we typed the user principal name in this particular box. But if you want to join device with Azure AD, in that case, you will click join this device to Azure Active Directory. And here you need to type the credentials of your Azure AD tenant. For this particular demo, I'm going to use this user join a so let's go back to machine and let's type the credentials type the password sign in so here you can see the domain name to which this device is going to join and this is the username that we used while joining this device to azure ad so click join so it says you are all set. This device is connected to Office 365 concepts. And now you need to log into this machine using Azure AD credentials. So this is the account that I need to use in this machine. So click on done. And here you can see this account is connected to Office 365 concepts Azure AD. And this is the account that we just used. So let's go to start. and let's sign out and let's log in with azure ad account now it will ask you to create a windows hello pin so click on ok Click on next. 
you need to set up a second factor authentication. So either you can use Microsoft Authenticator app or you can use a different method like a phone call or SMS. So let's click next. I'll select Microsoft Authentication app. Let's click next. Click done. And now you need to set up a Windows pin. Click OK. So it says all set. You can sign in with your pin now. Click on OK. And I'm logged into this machine. Now let's go to Azure Active Directory. And let's go to devices. All devices. And we can see this device is joined to Azure Active Directory. We can see this device. This is the host name Azure AD join machine. And you can see join type. It says Azure AD joint and the owner of this device is join A. So you can click on this device and you can see the properties like device ID, object ID, operating system. That is Windows. This is the version join type user. The account that is used while joining this device to Azure AD. Now let's go back to device and let's run dsreg cmd slash status and let's see the status of this device now so now it says azure ad joined yes that means this device is joined to azure active directory and you can see one attribute here azure ad prt this value is set to yes azure ad prt is a primary refresh token the validity of this token is 14 days and as soon as the user will actively access this device, this token will be renewed automatically. So what this token does, it provides single sign on experience to the users. Let's go to a browser and let's type portal.office.com and I should not get a prompt to enter username or password. You can see I'm logged into portal.office.com, but I didn't enter any username or password. Now let's check the certificate that is pushed to this device during Azure AD joint process. So let's go to MMC. Go to file. Add remove snap in add certificate. Now in the last video when we checked certificate in case of Azure AD registered device, we selected my user account. But in case of Azure AD joint devices, the certificate is pushed on the computer level. So you will select computer account. Click on next. Click finish. And click OK. Then expand certificates. Go to personal. Click on certificates. Now here you can see a certificate that is issued to this device by MS organization access. And this certificate is issued to this particular ID. Now let's go to Azure Active Directory. And you see this device ID starts with DC99D. Let's go back to certificate and we can see this is issued to DC99D. So this particular certificate is associated with the device ID of this machine. So this is the certificate that is issued during Azure AD join process. Next, if you want to check the event viewer logs, you will go to event viewer. You will click applications and services logs. Expand Microsoft, expand Windows. And then look for user device registration. And click admin. So here you can see all the logs. Those are generated during the process when we were joining this device to Azure AD. You can go through these logs. You can see here devices AAD joined set to yes. User has logged on with AAD credentials. Yes. Windows hello for business policy is enabled. Yes. So like this you can 
verify all the event logs and this is on the error if you have any you can troubleshoot it further now the next way to join a device with azure active directory is during installation i'm installing windows 10 operating system on this particular machine and during the installation it is asking me how would you like to set up you want to use this device for your personal use or you want to add this device to your organization network so if i want to use this device for my personal use i'll click on this option and then i'll type my personal account credentials but if i want to join this device with my organization network or let's say i want to join this device with azure ad then i will click setup for an organization so let's click on this option and click next now here i need to type credentials of my azure active directory user and this time i will use this account join b let's go back to machine and let's type this user credentials here click next type the password so now you need to set up windows hello pin click ok let's add microsoft authentication app for second factor authentication let's scan the qr code next select a pin click okay so now it says all set you can sign in with your pin now so now i'm logged into this machine and let's go to command prompt let's run dsregcmd slash status So we can see Azure AD joint is set to yes. And Azure AD PRT is set to yes as well. Let's minimize this. You can see here I'm logged in with join B account, that is Azure Active Directory account. And let's go to Edge. And let's test single sign on feature. Let's go to portal.office.com. And you can see I'm logged in. I didn't enter my username or password. And rest, if you want to verify certificate or even your logs, these steps will remain same. You will go to MMC, then go to add, remove, snap in. Certificates, add, select computer account, next, finish, click OK. Expand certificate, personal, under certificates, you will see the certificate that is pushed to this particular device. Now this certificate is pushed to 6759. Go to Azure Active Directory. Go to devices, all devices, and here we can see a new device identity is created. Let's go back to machine and let's verify its host name. The host name is VM25. VM25, so we can see the device here. This is the device ID 67595. 67595. Let's go back to Azure Active Directory. You can see operating system version type Azure AD joint, the account that we used to join this device to Azure AD. MGM is set to Intune, compliant, yes. 
These properties are related to Microsoft Intune. We will discuss Microsoft Intune in upcoming series. So like this, you can check all the attributes. And similarly, if you want to check even viewer logs, you can follow the same steps. So this is how you join devices to Azure Active Directory. In the next video, we will be talking about hybrid Azure AD joint devices. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel and share this channel within your community. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.